Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this video will cover this amazing lab. So simply click on start lab and open the cloud console and cognitive window. So this lab is recently updated and here is the updated solution guide for it because many of you are commenting and messaging me regarding this lab. So just open the cloud console and cognitive window. Now here it is getting signed in automatically. If it does so use a password, refer to the lab and search it. Now to like the video and subscribe the channel. So here we will be activating the cloud shell and performing some manual steps also. So please follow the video till the end. Now simply click on the icon next to the Gemini button. You have to simply click on it to activate the cloud shell. We will be using the cloud shell and console too. So just click on it and there you have to just click on continue and authorize yourself also. What you have to do just follow the video i am sharing how you have to complete it just click on the authorize button now finally the cloud shell is ready now we have to just increase the font size first of all and in the description box of this video, I've shared this repository in the GitHub section. Paste it over here and hit enter. Now here it will take some time and after that we have to do some manual steps. And many of you are asking how to enable this yellow check my progress bar. For that just check the description how to enable the check my progress. So just wait for all this thing. Here we have to do one more thing. We have to if it asks for enabling or allow unauthenticated invocations there we have to just type y and hit enter so just wait for some more time it may take 8 to 10 minutes So here you can clearly see the function deployment has been started and if you see any error it will retry to create the function and if you're following this video then you will surely get 100 out of 100 one more important thing i wanted to share that here uh, if you are getting complete error like it's not working then restart the lab and it will surely work so i hope if you're getting this kind of error do not worry at all you can see the building is restarting again and again so we have to just wait and there we have to just wait and just check the score for task number six up to task number six and this complete process may take 8 to 10 minutes so you need to wait for it okay Now let's come to the lab instruction and simply check the score. So we'll be coming to the lab page and we'll be checking the score up to task number 6. And if you're not getting, let me show you in which task we'll be not getting the score. So here in this task, okay, deploy different, sorry, deploy different versions. Many of you are not getting the score. In such case, how you have to fix it, I will tell you do not worry. First of all, type Y and hit enter. And let for all the functions to get created okay so then we'll be mostly we'll updating all the functions manually so please follow the video till the end so this will also again take two to five minutes so you need to wait for it and after that we'll do all the steps manually so please follow carefully and do like the video and subscribe the channel and let's wait for this function to get created successfully Let's come to the lab instruction and simply check the score for this particular task. So you can see we have got only 10 out of basically we have got 80 out of 100. So for more 20 points for one deploy different functions and basically the last one you have to come to the search box and just type function we will manually modify all the thing click on cloud down functions. 
please follow the video carefully so that you are able to get full score now here you can see this function okay multiple functions are here we have to just use the colored and slow concurrent function so here you can see come to the task number six and here sorry five five so just open the first of all we'll open the hello colored function click on it and then we have to click on edit and redeploy new version and here you can see if we come over here and here the color they have mentioned we have to change it to yellow basically the color was not changed from here by default the orange color is not updated to yellow we have to manually update it so how we have to do it do not worry so we have to come back again to the console page and make sure you have clicked on the edit button edit and deploy the new function in hello world color so here you have to just come over here and you can see the option is not being shown to come above and here you can see in the values sorry variables and secrets and there the color value is different we have to change it to yellow and just save it so just update the value to yellow and here just click on deploy and once it is deployed it will take few seconds or maybe up to a minute and then we'll check the score for this particular task and you'll surely get the score Now here simply check the score for this particular task and you surely get the score so finally this is the result now we have to come to the last task over here and here also we have to modify some of the resources so come over here back and here click on the slow concurrent function click on edit and deploy new function and then simply we have to update some of the things over here so the first thing we'll update is the cpu number is one so you need to update it now here we have to just update the number of instance to four okay now all these things are already corrected so we don't have to make any changes i think so so you can just click on the deploy button and wait for the deployment to get completed here finally the function is completed and created now let's take the score and finally we will definitely get the score so do like the video and subscribe the channel guys if you have any query do let me in the comment section thank you have a great day ahead